So with the reveal of the brand new Master Boo Boo Stain Balance, they've not only put Skill Drain to one, but also Rivalry of Warlords and Gozen Match to one. And it's got my brain thinking, could we see this happen in the TCG? Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living floodgate boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button. You like that? I know that you would. So we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder currently sitting at 1,137 subscribers. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been really busy these past couple days. Been trying to make content and I'm busy with other stuff. I'm getting a new full-time job. I'm going on insurance. It's amazing. <laughs> so anyways, I want to talk about the brand new master shit ban list that just got revealed I can't cuss within the first 30 seconds or else I don't get monetized and I can't help pay for my cancer medications and my cancer bills and all that. So we're all doing good though. The tumors are still being benign and not malignant. If they say malignant, then it's GG no re, we're gonna have to play Yu-Gi-Oh up in the sky. <laughs> so anyways, um, Skill Dre Rivalry and Gozen all went to one on the latest Mastership ban list. And it's got me thinking, could we see something like this happen in the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG? You know, we have a lot of floodgates in the game and it could very well just be a case of Master Shits is best of one. And we're going to talk about that in a second. The reason why I am talking about this in case, you know, you're wondering like, oh, Avery, you're always talking about Master Shits being a terrible game. It's got nothing good to offer. Why are you talking about it? If you look between what's happened in OCG and Master Shits, a lot of those banless changes that we see between both of those games, they bring over here to the TCG. You know, you look at the OCG, they ban Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. Master Shits follows suit and ban Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. What do you think they did in the TCG? Well, if you put they ban Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds on your bingo card, you can go ahead and punch that little button out. <laughs> so it's not unlikely to say that they will follow things from what both of these do or even just one or the other. You know, I feel at this point, since Skill Drain went to one in both <clears throat> Master Shits and the OCG, I think that there's a high possibility that we could see Skill Drain go to one on this next ban list, if not the ban list after. <clears throat> they seem to follow suit in that regard. Um, so it's got me wondering, could we see Rivalry and Gozen or like Rivalry, TC Boo, whatever sort of combination, could we see these cards get hit in some capacity? You know, when you look at it from the Mastership perspective, in a best of one format, because Konami just wants to be idiots like that, Floodgates like Skill Drain, Rivalry, and Gozen are kind of god cards if you think about it because if the opponent isn't main decking back row hate which why would they why would you want to hurt the consistency of your deck in a best of one fucking format when you need the most consistency and gas that you can get then you kind of just lose like in a normal match setting right you have the chance to side deck against these floodgates whether it's throwing in an evenly matched feather duster lightning storm you name it you have a way to combat against these floodgates or even just knowing that they exist you can kind of play differently you know, because of that knowledge. And Skill Drain's a bit different. And just for uh, perspective case, I love Skill Drain at three. I think having Skill Drain at three is awesome. I'd rather have Skill Drain at three than Mystic Mind because the difference with Skill Drain and Mystic Mind is that Mystic Mind didn't even let you activate the effects. And especially when the meta deck started playing it, you know, it, you had to negate the Mystic Mind if you had an out for it even. So, you know, if I'm playing Mystic Mind and I play it and you're like a meta player and you don't have a negate, well, now you have to either simplify your board down to one monster or no monsters at all, which if you do, my Mystic Mind's going to pop and then I'm going to be able to pop off and make my board and attack you for game. And that wasn't fucking fair. You know, especially like from the perspective of like people watching the live stream online, it didn't make for fun gameplay interaction and all that stuff. Um, of course, my dad's pissed off back because he, you know, wants to play his Mystic Mind shit burn decks. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't healthy for Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sorry to y'all that want Mystic Mind back. I'm glad that it's gone, even though I did play it in like my 60 card branded Eldritch and all that. But even in that case, I played Floodgates along with it. We were playing Triple Skill Drain, Rivalry, Gozen, TC Boo. We were maxing out on all of that. Three Gozen, three Rivalry, three TC Boo, three Mystic Mind. And it was just a lot. Like I remember round one at that Boca Raton regional where I played that deck. I played against a 60 card Preta Plant Despia branded deck. And at one point I had like Rivalry, Gozen, TC Boo, and I think even like a Mystic Mine up. And I'm just sitting there, or I didn't even have Mystic Mine, I had Skill Drain. And I'm just sitting there poking into all my opponent's face down monsters and just leaving him with a face-up Despian Tragedy. He couldn't play the ball game. And then once I had enough resources to be able to win the game, then I was just able to, you know, summon out another monster, like another Golden Lord or something, whatever, uh, or even just send off some of my Floodgates with Golden Lord's effects, summon out another one, and just swing him for damage, and then he just, you know, would lose in time, or he just would scoop up his cards. He ended up scooping up his cards in that first game. But besides the point, 
floodgates at a high number like this can kind of prove to be an issue. They're also a balancing factor though, because it does give decks like Runic, when I'm staring at on my screen right now, to actually compete. You know, this Runic build I have up right now, it's only two monsters are Amato Awato just to stop monster effects like a Mystic Mon. But then it's playing three TC Boo, three Skill Drain, three Rivalry, three Messenger of Peace. You basically just recreate Mystic Mine, but in a different sense because you'd have Skill Drain and the Messenger plus Floodgates just to lock your opponent into one monster. The problem with that, though, in Master Shits is that it's best of one. So my dad, who's been playing his dog shit fucking burn deck, thinking that he's just a god at this game on Master Shits, the burn deck that he's playing looks really good in Master Shits because it's best of one. You know, I would argue like at least 70 to 80% of the time, especially if you're playing against an opponent who's an idiot, they're not going to know how to play against a burn deck. I guarantee you, like... There's hardly anyone playing a burn deck besides my dad on Master Shits. Like, he's the only one playing a burn deck, like, somewhat competitively and seeing success with it. And again, it's best of one. So as long as you can just cheese that first game with some sort of dog shit deck, you're going to do well. Like, he's at over level 20 now after a few days of playtime because he just built this degenerate dog shit deck that no one knows how to play against because they're all playing for the meta. They're all preparing for Sprite, Math Mech. Uh, Sky Striker, if that's even in the game, whatever. No one's preparing for, okay, I have a gigantic sprite up with 3200 because I used a sprite elf attack, dimension wall. Okay, on resolution, use Muhammad, uh, Muhammad the fairy dragon. You take another 3200. Like, no one's playing that dog shit. No one's playing battle traps and all that shit, you know, in 2023, except for my dad. Like, it's whatever. But then, of course, my dad's the same type of person that will bitch and complain when Math Mech activates Super Factorial and start popping off. And he's like, this guy's playing an asshole deck. No, no, no. Which, shout out to Valley D if you're watching this video. My dad thinks that Math Mech is an asshole deck. So you played an asshole deck at the regional. <laughs> but, like, but then he's giddy like a schoolgirl when, like, his burn deck works with a one time out of 100 fucking games. And, like, that's fine. Like, I'm not trying to deny him the fun that he's having. But it's like... You also have to understand from the competitive standpoint that floodgates aren't always necessarily the most healthy thing. You know, if Sword Soul's beating you down with, say, like a 2800 Chen Ying, and they have a rivalry up and you just can't play because of it, is that really healthy? Now, again, because that we have the match setting, we have the ability to side deck in the evenlies or whatever to out those things, or you even just play differently in games two and three when you know that the floodgates exist. Um, or even it's just something that you account for going into the matchup. You know, when Flunderies was, you know, some builds were playing Mystic Minds, some weren't. You know, I talked with uh, one of my buddies, one, uh, one of our locals here, and he said, you just always play to assume that they have the Mystic Mind. And when you go in just assuming that they have the Mystic Mind, then you're better prepared because of it. Whether they're playing it or not, you just assume that they have it to be safe than sorry. So I don't know... If in the grand scheme of things, we're going to see rivalry and goes and get hit to one. I, I feel like Skill Drain has the higher chance to get hit. And even then, Skill Drain, the reason why Skill Drain is just so overpowered, some would argue, in 2023, is because decks like Eldritch and Labyrinth don't give a fuck about Skill Drain. Like, Labyrinth, they're just going to beat you down with your trap cards. Uh, Eldritch, they've got Conquistador, Sanguine, all that stuff. They don't, they don't care about Golden Lord. He's going to have 3,500 because you use his Affecting Grave. So, like, he's going to have that 3,500 attack body until the end of the next turn, whether Skill Drain's up or not. Labyrinth, they kind of need their monster effects, but not really, like, Silver Castle and uh, Lovely Labyrinth. Like, they have some some niche effects, like, protecting the set cards and stuff, but they really don't need those things. If they're playing Eradicator, they're going to Eradicator you to death. They've got Big Welcome Labyrinth and Regular Welcome Labyrinth in their grave to banish them and set new traps and stuff. Like, they, you could argue they're really not hurt by Skill Drain, whereas decks like Cash Tira, yeah, they're really hurt by Skill Drain. The balancing factor with Skill Drain, though, is that you can kind of play around it depending on what you have up. You know, whether you have Forbidden Lance in your hand or, you know, you summon out Cash Tira Rise Heart to at least pay the cost on its effect. Because unlike Mystic Mind, where you can't even activate the effect, Skill Drain, you can at least attempt to activate the effect and pay the cost. Because remember, by Yu-Gi-Oh! game mechanics, you cannot negate a cost. You can activate Effect Veiler on my Swap Frog 
but yet I still have to pay the cost or activate it on my rise heart. I still have to banish a card from my deck to pay the cost. And this can kind of open things up because it's like, okay, well now I've got my Kashira Unicorn banished. I can at least play birth to get it back. Or if you have a rise heart, the exceed up, I can still at least detach the three materials as cost, target your skill drain to banish it face down and then chain Lance or book a moon, flip the arise heart face down. Now it's no longer affected by skill drain and you lose your skill drain. Mystic mind, you couldn't do anything like that. And so there is that sort of, I guess, balancing factor with skill drain specifically and rivalry and goes in. I mean, the cards don't really hurt you if you're not hurt by those floodgates for whatever reason, which you could argue is a balancing factor, but I don't know if that's enough to really keep them at three. So I don't know. It's something interesting that I think is at least worth talking about uh, because if there's anything that Master Shits shows us, it's that Konami will pull from OCG and Master Shits and throw it into our ban list. And so I think that it's something worth keeping in mind and talking about because we do have a lot of floodgates in the game. Skill Drain, Rivalry, TC Boo, Messenger of Peace, and the ban played on, I guess. But the point that I'm making is that we just have so many in the game. Is Konami looking at these saying, you know, we need to start pulling back on this? So, guys, these are just my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. It, it may not even happen. I think Skildren has the higher chance of getting hit than anything because it's been hit in both OCG and Master Shits now. So, only time will tell. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.